107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. Best Man Holiday, you know it was phenomenal. It is uh, an honor and a pleasure to have uh, the film director, writer, producer, Mr. Malcolm D. Lee, inside of the calm before the storm. Thank you for coming by, man. My pleasure. My Yes, I'm the most popular director in, in Hollywood for the next 36 hours. <laughs> I think you're really shortchanging yourself in a great way. <laughs> But uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's, it's gratifying to know that uh, the fans came out and took the, uh, the Best Man holiday as a real holiday weekend. Like People were taking off time you know, on, on Friday morning to come see the movie. Exactly. I don't know if you realize how, how perfectly you did this thing. And, and I want to get into how much control film directors have in terms of when movies are released. But it couldn't happen close to the holidays. It couldn't happen because we're about, the Giants, that is, is about to play Dallas this coming weekend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and for Malcolm, I mean, for uh, for Morris to be in, on the New York Giants, come on. You, you hey, just man, hit all home runs. We, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we, we're going to be an inspiration for the Giants this, 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 for, the, for the rest of the season. Now yes, we're for four and six. And yes, we're sir. Go on to the, to the playoffs <laughs> in, in a big way. Anything's um, possible in the NFC. That's right. And, oh, you better believe it. NFC East, weak division. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, you know, it, it's funny, we, we, um, we, uh, the studio and I, um, really pushed for, um, this release date. We declared it over a year ago, Really, you know, to just, you know, stake our claim because, you know, as you see, there's a slew of African-American movies out this year and, you know, not only African-American movies, but African-American holiday movies. Yeah. You know, the Black Nativity uh, is coming out uh, soon, uh, as well as Medea's Christmas. So, you know, we wanted to make sure that we, you know, we, we, we staked our claim early. Um, and you know what better time than right before the Thanksgiving holiday when people are coming together? So and that's great. what our fan. That's, that's what our, what our movie's about, largely. And I, I, so obviously, you are a lover of music as well. Absolutely. I mean, you know, I I, I grew up on on a, in a great Motown and Stax music, and you know, I, you know, I came of age in the hip hop era. Yeah. So you know, and music is is very much in me. My 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 um my father and his brothers and sisters were all jazz musicians. So uh, I have a very deep appreciation for music. From a very early age, and, it, and it's, and it's, it's I, I, although I don't play anything but the radio, <laughs> I, I can't. I, you know, Thank you for playing that radio. Yeah, yeah, and I don't, I don't, uh, I, can't, I couldn't carry a note if you put it in my hand. Um, but uh, you know, I love music, and you know, music is such a great part of the, the filmmaking and cinematic experience that I had to, you know, include great music in the movie. And and music does play a great part, in, and and it'll make you want to see the movie again. Yeah. It'll make you want to play to get the soundtrack. It's a they work symbiotically that way. You know, I always say that music is the soundtrack to our lives. That's true. There's certain songs that come out at certain times that we were caught in a moment in time where we're going through a good moment, a bad moment, unforgettable moment that music is attached to. No question about it. Um, and um, you know, when you especially when you get great um artists to, to perform those songs yeah. you know we have neo r kelly uh marsha ambrosius and anthony hamilton we've got uh fantasia john, john legend um just a slew of, of of great artists on here that are Love. just i mean i mean you know you, and, and soundtrack deals are not you know something that, that that occur nowadays you know yeah, i know um so we were very fortunate to have rca come in and um be a part of this uh this experience of the, of the best man holiday and really um help promote a promote a movie that um that needed the, the great music to have. It was it's not only just Christmas music, but you know some great R and B music as well. The Best Man Holiday came out Friday. It's number two. Uh, the results have come in a little earlier, and uh, I give you all the kudos in the world. Hey man, we I, almost it, it, beat Thor. You almost beat Thor. We, almost, we, we beat him on Friday night. We almost who knocked knows? out. We went toe to toe with the God of Thunder. <laughs> well, it tells me that you got a lot of thunder and power. That's what it tells me. Well, but, it's all about the fans. I mean, they came out really in strong force and. The, this, the, the industry kind of underestimated the office. They say we overperformed, but they underestimated the love that the fans have for the movie. The, it was a great uh, embrace when the movie first came out in 1999. Absolutely. And, and, you know, similarly, you know, we had, you know, social networking back then. I mean, you know, it was just email campaigns. Yeah, but this time. But this is it's, it's a, it's a whole other level. And people are, are, are just talking about it on Twitter. Like, and there's not a bad comment out there. I mean, if there are, then we squash those real quick, uh, along with the, with the critics who are, who are, who are you know, bad mouthing the movie. I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's disheartening to, to know that there are people out there who just don't get it. Hey, look, I was telling my, one of my cats, uh, Ken Simmons, that, you know, controversy sells these days. That it does. And, you know, you're all over USA Today, and that's good. You know, I mean, I, let them keep Malcolm D. Lee's name out there for Why as not? long as possible, right? Yeah, yeah, as long as it's, it's, it's good, something good. I don't want to, well, you know what? Controversy does sell. Let's it do does it. sell. I'm trying Come to on. find an angle myself these days, you know? It's hard to <laughs> 
<laughs> Lenny Green caught in a scandal. <laughs> Malcolm, you know, I asked quite a few people before seeing the movie last night, uh, what's it a tearjerker? And they said, hey, man, bring some tissue. And I'm like, I'm not bringing no tissue. Forget that. Did I not? Did- I definitely teared up, y'all. I'm going to be honest. I teared up. There's, you have some a, a few sentimental, heart-wrenching moments that definitely touches the soul. And you have no choice but to get emotional. You know, I mean, I think that's a testament to, um, you know, we, we, we did write a, a pretty good script and it, it's a, it's a but, but more than that, it's, it's a testament to the actors and, and how they really embody the roles. Really and, that, and, and people became very invested with these characters a long time ago. Yeah. And to, to reunite with them um, now, 14 years later, and be reinvested and get the laughs going and, 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 the, and, the, and the dancing and, and everything, it kind of prepares you for or it doesn't really prepare you, but it certainly gets you invested in, in what's to come in the in the film. And what I think what I think is really great about it is that it's not just touching, you know, the female audience, but you know they're much more accessible with their emotions. Um, but it's it's touching male audience Us, members as yeah, well. Yeah. You know, the brothers, you know, they don't really get an opportunity to show their vulnerability towards one another, towards their their, their significant others. And I think it's a, it's a strong and beautiful thing. And I was glad to get it because you know sometimes you know if 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 if, if brothers you know are showing love towards an, one another on screen, there's always somebody in the audience is like, yo yo yo, that's some <laughs> you right, yeah, you know stuff. <laughs> right. You know I can't say it on the radio, no, but I like you know you. Like, you. that's some punk stuff. And it's just like you know that's just this is not real. 